Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 21 of my Create This Book 2 series by me and Mariah Elizabeth. I have a very exciting video today. Before I begin, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's see what I can come up with for today's prompts. We are getting nearer and nearer to almost completing this book, so it takes me quite a bit of time to flip to the right page, but the first prompt for today is to create emphasis. So I decided to do this by using color, and the first thing I'm doing is sketching out my design. I had an image in mind first thing right away, and I knew exactly what I wanted to do, so I started off by sketching out this cat, if you couldn't have guessed it, here you go. That's what I'm starting out sketching, and then after I finished out drawing all of the details for the cat, I then decided to focus on what was going to be the emphasis in this design. And what I want to emphasize for this is the butterfly that is going to be on the cat's nose. Here it is, and this is what I want to stand out in the image. So I decided to outline everything in pen just to darken up my design a little bit and finalize everything. And after I kind of made everything more detailed and solidified everything with a black pen, then I went in and decided to emphasize the butterfly by using color. So in this image, the butterfly is the only thing that is going to be colored. That way it stands out apart from everything else. And I chose to make the butterfly orange because I felt like it would just really pop off of the page and contrast everything really well. Plus, it's kind of a classic butterfly color. Then I also outlined the butterfly in black and added in its patterns to its wings. And then I was done with this design, but I felt like the page still needed more. So I decided to add in a little bit more detail on the butterfly, and then I also decided to add a couple of extra butterflies. But to keep with the theme of the emphasis, I decided to leave these butterflies in only pen as well. So they are also not colored in, they're just like the cat. And only the orange butterfly on the cat's nose is orange and colorful. And I thought that was kind of cool because it maybe makes you think that the butterfly turned orange because it was interacting with the cat. At least that's how I like to think of it. I think it's kind of a fun little cool story. But here it is completed. I think it turned out really well. It's pretty simple, but it's definitely emphasis. That butterfly stands out for sure apart from the rest of the drawing since it's the only thing that is colorful and the only thing that stands out. And here is the next prompt, which is to create an alphabet. So at first, I was kind of going to just do something basic and just, you know, write out the alphabet. But then I came up with an idea. I like Lord of the Rings, but my husband is a huge Lord of the Rings fan and he loves it so much. And I know from him that there's a whole bunch of different alphabets that all of the different people in the movies speak. So there's like Dwarvish, Elvish, all that kind of stuff. So I decided to draw out the Elvish alphabet from the Lord of the Rings movies. So I just looked it up so I could know what it is. I don't know it off the top of my head. Neither does he, but I thought it would be really fun to try and draw out the Elvish Elvish alphabet. So it would be a little bit different, but obviously it's very similar to ours. If you can tell, still 26 letters. I decided to write something. So let me know if you can read Elvish. And if you can, go ahead and subscribe because, you know, it says that you should. So <laughs> this one was a lot of fun. And even though it was pretty simple, it was still just a lot of fun. And I decided to leave this side blank because I looked ahead to the next prompt, which is to create a repair. And you're supposed to rip out the page. So I did not want to mess up all the designs I created on the back. So I left that blank so that way I could have a fresh start for the next prompt. So here I am ripping the page out of the book and I have decided to rip up the page into tiny pieces, but I tried to keep all of the pieces I ripped out sorted. That way I would know how to fix it later. Then I took another sheet of cardstock and laid it out and I decided to do a bit of a rainbow scribbles on the side. That way it would look cool underneath of the cutouts. And for the cutouts, I then decided to put them back onto the paper to try and repair the page. But I left holes in between each of the paper. That way you could see this rainbow design through the back. So let me know if that's making sense. But basically, I just put on the paper without touching them back together, but they still went 
back together. And then I decided to outline all of the paper tears in gold just to add some pizzazz to the page and make it look nice. And now it's time to glue that page back in the book and press it down so it's secure. And now it's time for the last prompt of the day, which is to create imitation and recreate famous artwork. For some reason, the very first thing that came to mind was this painting called Red Square, and it is exactly what it sounds like. It is a red square, okay? But this square cost $60 million, okay? $60 million. So then I looked it up because I was curious, and I found that there is also a black square for $85 million. So... I don't know how you feel about that. I'm just kind of blown away by that and kind of surprised. And then I decided to do a more well-known painting and that is Starry Night. And I decided to recreate this just using some Posca pens. And I looked up the cost of this one and this one is over a hundred million dollars, but still, I mean, like you can make a black square for 85 million. So if you're planning on painting something, maybe try that. So this was a fun page and fun to learn about those paintings that are maybe a little bit pricier than I would expect them to be. Here is the first prompt that we did again, which was to create emphasis. And we created emphasis by making this butterfly orange and everything else on the page was left colorless. This one was really fun and I think it turned out to be my favorite. I love cats, they're my favorite animal. And here is the second prompt, which was to create an alphabet where we pretty much stuck to the traditional alphabet, but we did an elvish version of it instead. So same letters, but they look a little bit fancier. Here is the next prompt again, where we repaired the page by ripping it out, tearing it apart, and then putting it all back together in this fun way with a little rainbow peeking through underneath and some gold highlights around all of the tears of the page. And here is the last prompt of the day where we created imitation and drew out these paintings that are kind of interesting to think about. I got a little bit of the Starry Night on there, fixed that up. And here it is, completed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and maybe even learned something new. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Before you leave, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!